All right, that's the foundation I'm never gonna buy in my life. Alright, so today it is day 9 of 15 days of foundation. This is where I try out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. Days 1 through 8 are linked down below in the playlist. You can go back and watch all of them starting from day 1. We're a little over halfway through the series. We're shooting to raise $20,000 by the 29th for Project Beauty Share. I can't give you guys a like up-to-date running total in this video since it's pre-recorded, but make sure you're following me on Twitter, Instagram, everything, because I'm going to be updating you guys where we're at. But today we're trying out a foundation. I have no idea why I haven't tried this until this day, but this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Does anyone else have issues saying Giorgio Armani? This is probably one of the most talked about foundations of all time. This is like one of those foundations that I remember years ago, like when I first started my YouTube channel, I remember hearing about this foundation and being like, all right, that's the foundation I'm never gonna buy in my life. And here we are today. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. On Sephora, they carry the full size, but they have the mini size now, which is pretty sweet. I wish more foundations did this because then you don't have to worry about expirations. You can try out a foundation for a little bit cheaper. So in the full size of this foundation, it retails for $64 and you get one fluid ounce of product. You can get the mini size for $42 and you get 0.6 ounces of product. It's not the most economical decision, but if you just want to get a feel for a foundation and you don't want to commit to the full size, then it could be a good option. So this foundation comes in 24 shades. I actually have the shade 3.75 because their shade system is a little bit interesting. I picked this one because the description says fair skin with rosy undertone. If you look at 3.5, it says light to medium with warm undertone. So just make sure you're reading the description and also Google swatches and stuff. That's usually what I do with foundation. If I'm trying to pick a shade is I'll Google the shade number and everything. So on Sephora, it says it's for all skin types with medium coverage, lightweight liquid foundation that achieves a radiant silky finish. This award-winning foundation is formulated with microfill technology, producing a low-density product that pairs high-impact pigments with weightless texture. So essentially, it's supposed to be lightweight and weightless, but it still has coverage. So I'm going to start swatches right here so you can see what the shade 3.75 looks like compared to some of my other foundations. All right, we've got some swatches. So right here is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 3.75. Next over is the Cover FX Power Play in P20. CYO Life Proof in 101. NARS Ultra Radiant Foundation in Mont Blanc. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. Dermacol 208. So if you're excited for this video and you've been enjoying 15 Days of Foundation, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you're new here, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I'm uploading every single day from now until the 29th. All right, the hype is real with this one because I feel like I've heard so much about it over the years that I just have very high expectations right now, but I'm going to try and bring it down a few notches. I think 3.75 is going to be a good shade match. I like that in the mini packaging, they still give you a glass bottle and a pump. I'm going to give this a shake. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. What time is it right now? Right now it's 9.20. Whoa, looks pretty liquidy. Here's it on the back of the palette. Yeah, definitely liquidy. So let's start out with a sponge on this side of my face. Looks very skin-like so far, with the sponge just looking like light coverage on the side. I think we got a pretty good shade match here. Let's do a brush on the other side. I'm curious if I can get more coverage with the brush because it's looking like light coverage on the sponge side. I can see everything coming through. It feels like it dries down pretty fast, like you don't have a ton of time to work with this. So you probably would want to work in sections with this one. That, I can definitely see my texture more on this side. I got a little bit better coverage with the brush, but I like the finish with the sponge, so I think this is one that I would apply with a brush and then smooth it out with the sponge. I do want to build this up because I feel like I'm getting pretty light coverage here. It's supposed to be medium coverage, and I don't feel like I'm quite at medium coverage. On my forehead, I'm not taking any more product. I'm just gonna smooth it out. Quite natural coverage. It's not really covering any of my scarring. 
been trying to kind of build this up and cover my neck scarring and it doesn't cover so this is something that if you have any kind of blemishes scarring pigmentation on your face you probably would have to use a concealer over top or underneath wasn't expecting it to be a full coverage but it is a little bit lighter coverage than i was picturing Whoa, what's this hair doing? I would say this is buildable to medium coverage off of just one layer and I used a decent amount of product. I would say it's more in the light coverage range, but I'm gonna look up close and see how this is looking. Little underwhelmed, little underwhelmed. It's not looking bad. I just don't think it particularly looks great. I like how it looks on my forehead actually, but around my nose area and just down here I can just kind of see it sitting on top of my face it looks like I'm wearing makeup if I'm going to be wearing something that is more on the light coverage side I want it to look like skin I don't want it to look like I'm wearing makeup I look a bit makeup-y this might just be one that takes a little bit to warm up to my skin it is tacky so I do think I need to powder this part of my face a little bit but it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide around it is transferring a little bit so i do think i'm still gonna set just this area of my face so i can blend stuff on top of it right now it's 9 32 so i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back okay so it's now 10 20 we're calling the check-in time 9 40 right now i am kind of glad i didn't buy the full size so i looked out in natural lighting and i'll show you guys a clip like always in natural lighting, but I definitely liked it better out there, so that's a good sign. I almost like it. It almost looks good on my skin. It's just not quite there, so I think this might be one that would look really good with something like MAC Fix Plus or some kind of setting spray just to kind of melt it into my skin. So I will try that with the setting spray and everything for the wrap-up video. I always try out the foundations in different ways, mix them, use different primers, setting sprays, everything, and then I rank them in the wrap-up video, which is going to be going up on April 9th. I feel like I can make this one look a lot better if it wasn't just on its own. And the wrap up video on April 9th is also where we're going to be announcing the winning shelter that's going to win $5,000 and also where I'm going to be doing a meetup. So don't forget to cast your vote one time a day. Check out the link. We're also trying to raise $20,000 for Project Beauty Share. So mugs are on there, t-shirts are on there. So we'll see how this one wears throughout the day, but that's kind of how I'm feeling about it right now. I'm going to insert a clip in natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks like, and then we'll do a little flash test. We are in natural lighting right now, so let's take a look. I like the shade. I'm already starting to crease a bit right here. This side, not as bad. I wouldn't say this is a super satiny finish. I mean, it looks pretty matte in certain areas. You can still see stuff coming through. So let's do a flash test. It always looks like there's a lot of flashback to me when I'm looking at it in here. I don't know if it's just because my eyes are like, not quite here from the flash and then when I edit it back it doesn't look quite as bad as I think it looks in the moment but looking at it right now it does look like there's flashback for sure to me I mean it's quite a bit lighter than my neck in the photo I also noticed as I was doing my makeup when I went to close the twist top this actually doesn't lock shut which is a little bit annoying because if you're using this to travel like the mini size you would have to put this cap back on and like not lose this it does just slide on but I feel like I'm gonna lose this in two seconds. It's super nice out today in Seattle. It's like 65 and sunny, so I didn't wanna do like full blown makeup because I wanna go outside and go on a walk and like enjoy this day. So I just did really basic makeup, really enjoying, where did I put it, this thing. This little Smashbox, Smashbox Trio eyeshadow thing. This is in Nudie Pick. They sent a ton of these things and I had all of them in my donate giveaway pile. And then I randomly picked up this one because I'm always looking for it, these exact tones basically this reminds me of a physician's formula one I always used to use years ago I love a good everyday cool tone kind of trio quad situation and this one has the perfect light shade for my lids if you have greenish eyes they just kind of make them pop so this is what I've been reaching for on like an everyday basis just when I want to do something quick so that's all the shadows on my eyes right now I had all of them in the giveaway pile and as soon as I tried this one there's like five that are now back in my makeup stash so I was pleasantly surprised by these I feel like I haven't been a big fan of Smashbox shadows in the past but these little trio things are actually pretty nice i just smudged some black pencil liner for my eyeliner today and then on my waterline i put on this nude kind of thing from Gigi hadid maybelline just brighten up my lash line put on my normal mascaras which will be down below for bronzer i tried out this tarte don't be afraid to dazzle and so far i like this shade i tried the highlighter but it was a little bit too dark and it emphasized my texture so then i switched to elf heart and i just put this one over top and i also have this on my inner corner on my eyes then i used my ciate summer love blush and lips i use the sephora liquid lipstick in the shade 33 i always use the 
other one, what is it, 22 or something? And this shade is great. Why do I not use this more? And that's everything. So check-in time is nine, what time was it at? 9.40, I'll see you guys in a few hours in natural lighting. All right, it's now 2.49, so it's been on for over five hours. I'm feeling not the best right now, so I'm gonna make this a quick check-in. Kind of the same situation. It looks pretty matte and a little bit dry on the bottom half of my face and then this, the top of the top of my forehead. My forehead looks a bit dewier, I would say, actually. It's like you can see every little ounce of anything on my skin right now. Not the most smoothing. Seems to be starting to crease a bit around my mouth area. This was already starting at the last one, but it's gotten a little bit worse. But that is where we are at right now. I will see you guys at the end of the night. Okay, so it's actually pretty late right now. It's 10.37. What time did I even start this check-in? 9.30, I think it's been on for over 12 hours, like 13 hours. I just got home, so we're gonna do this final check-in. I've been looking at it throughout the day. I like that it doesn't look necessarily any worse. Like, it, it pretty much stayed exactly the same all day, so that's good. I just don't love it. Definitely not something that I would pay $64 for at this point. Maybe I'll find a combo that I really like with it. I just feel like I have foundations and products that look a lot more flattering on my skin right now. I do still have the crease right here and some creasing around here, but it doesn't look bad. I'm not getting upper lip creasing. Center of my forehead looks a little bit of something that's going on there looks like it's rubbed off or something a little bit right on the center so at this point right now i can't say that i'm liking this one but i also don't dislike it. it's kind of like right in the middle but let me know down below what you guys think of this foundation i know this one has been out for a long time so it's probably a lot of you guys who have tried this one if you have certain combos that you like mixing this with or setting sprays or something that you like with it let me know what those are down below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up i love you guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye